courses for as long as I can remember, and I've definitely been interested in research since I started college four and a half years ago. And um, when I met Kelly the first semester she was here, it was also my first semester, and she kind of approached, I approached her about research, and she kind of approached me about the project, and I instantly fell in love with it. Courses without homes get rehomed or adopted, um, and a lot of times it doesn't really work out because the people don't necessarily understand or know what the horse is going to be like. Popular websites for selling horses, there are a couple different subjective scoring systems that the owner of the horse can use to try to describe that horse. Uh, there's not a lot of descriptions though on what those actual individual numbers mean. So um, with this objective temperament scale they'll be able to understand what the horse is doing, how the horse behaves, kind of just understand the horse's personality a little bit more. We looked at um, two specific scales in the bovine industry that we were able to very easily convert to um, a horse perspective. The two scores that I focused on was the pen score and the shoot score. The pen score basically the animal is put into um, an empty pen and a human enters with another human watching the animal and the human that's watching the animal human interaction will mark any kind of behavior that the um, cow, steer, calf, whatever has to the novel object which is the human. So our novel object was a tarp and our tarp had like a little section where they walked but then we put it up over hay bales just to make it even more novel and scary um, and then we monitored and documented all of the actions that the horse did and kind of made our scale based on that. The other test was um, in the bovine industry it's known as the shoot score and so an animal is put in a shoot and any um, movement is calculated and monitored while they're in the shoot and so to mirror that horses don't really go in shoots so that would be something for our herd that would have been um, excessively stressful and so we just tied them up in our round pin and so they had a limited amount of movement which was being tied and then I um, documented every single movement that they did for the 10 minute time period. This summer I took it to the joint annual meeting of the American and Canadian Animal Science Associations. Then I also got to talk with people from across the country and even from other countries about my project and so that kind of started a really interesting scholarly conversation about the equine temperament issue and you know future studies and stuff like that. This is a project that's uh, very close to the scope that a master's project would be and so a lot of people from other universities were really impressed with Josie's work and what she was able to accomplish as an undergraduate and really excited about the type of undergraduates that we would have applying to graduate school.